Hello everyone. This is Shavi. I'm a student of BSA second year science degree. I'm doing a review on how to complete the exercise. So now let's first understand. Let's see. So PCA is a dimensional reduction technique. So why do we need to reduce the dimension? Like more than more the dimension, we will take more time to fit the data and may not be we may not fit the data more accurately. So to achieve what the goals we need to do to reduce the dimensions. To reduce the dimension, we use PCA. So what PCA does, it finds a plane and pushes the data onto that. As we can see in the picture side by that we had three dimensions earlier. Then we find found a plane and projected the data onto that and converted the 3D data into 2D data. So how do we choose this plane? Our goal is not to lose any information. To do so, we will choose the axis which conserve most of the variance. So here, as we can see in the picture, that C1 conserve most of the variance. So we will choose C1 as our axis 1 for the TCA. Then C, this axis, the dashed axis, will conserve the next most variance. So we'll turn, use this as the next PC, and then the dotted line will the uh, will be considered as the third. So we need to understand what's SVD as well. So what the matrix does? It scales and rotates the data sets or vector. So we will convert A into three matrix, which does the same work as A does, but in portion. Like we rotate it, then sigma scale it, and you again rotate. So how do we find this V, U, and so on? So U is the M cross M matrix of the orthonormal vector of A, A transpose. V transpose is the transpose of M cross N matrix containing the orthonormal eigenvectors of A transpose A. Diagonal mat sigma will be a diagonal matrix with R elements equal to the root of the Positive eigenvalues of A, trans A, A transpose or A transpose A, where R is the minimum of the number of eigenvalues that we have from A A transpose and A transpose. So now let's move to the steps. So our data set that we consider for this example is this, the same we have used in the class. So First, we will find the mean and make it as original. So this is the data set we, can, we found by converting it as mean center data. So now we will convert, we will find the SVD decomposition of this data set of mean center data that we have, and then we will or we can observe that. C, the covariance matrix we require is 1 by n minus 1 into x into x transpose. So to find this matrix, we will see here. So let us see this. Let's consider this data and then find its mean and convert it into the mean center data. Then x into x transpose would reduce to this matrix which is indeed same as the covariance. So using SVT decomposition for X and X transpose, X and X transpose would get lower to U sigma D transpose, V sigma transpose, U transpose. So X into X transpose and X transpose X are both symmetric matrix and its eigenvectors are orthogonal. So V transpose D would be I and U, U transpose would also be I. So C would reduce to, now this would reduce to I identity matrix. So C would reduce to U sigma, sigma transpose, U transpose. Now to find sigma into sigma transpose. So Sigma into sigma transpose would be a 
diagonal matrix with its diagonal entries equal to the eigen value of u. And we would say this lambda. So C would come out to be this. And then, as we know, u into u transpose would be an eigen identity matrix. So multiplying u both the side would give us Cu equal to 1 by n minus 1 into u sigma. Sorry for the, the sigma. It's lambda. Sorry. Let us say a matrix M is formed by the eigenvectors of C. And lambda dash be a matrix with its diagonal entries equal to the eigenvalues of U. Of C. Sorry. So the spectral decomposition of C would reduce to this. Now comparing both these equations, we will see that C U is same as M and lambda is proportional to lambda dash with the proportionality constant 1 by n. So we can see that M is equal to U and lambda is dash is equal to 1 by n minus 1 lambda. So we can say that instead of finding the instead of finding the eigenvectors of C, we would go to the SVD and take the values that we have in the matrix U as our pieces. So here we in our here we had the this mat the first vector is this and the second vector is this. So these vectors let's consider is this this is U1 and this comes let's consider this is U2. These vectors U1 and U2 would be our pieces. This is also this example is same as that we discussed in class, and the answer is same as that we discussed in the that we have found in the class by finding the covariance eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the covariance matrix. So, a few questions that might arise in your mind as it did in mine. So, the first question that you that might arise arouse in your mind would be why do we find the covariance matrix and its eigenvalues. Why are they so important? Why this covariance matrix has so much focus on? So, so let's consider that sigma is the covariance matrix. Then the variance of the projected data onto any V. That is, we consider a data set. We consider some data set, a matrix X which contain all our data, and we found the vector V as our PC. So the, so the projected data that would we have would be X dot V, right? Right? So this X dot, the variance of this X dot V would be V transpose V. The proof is given here. You can understand it easily. Now, we need to maximize this pro projection variance. And we would have to find the V vector which maximizes its variance subject to the that its norm should be 1 so that it would be a unit vector. So we will form a Lagrangian to solve this. So a function of v and lambda would be we have to maximize this subject to the condition this. Now this would always be zero. So add so adding a multiplier of this would be zero and do not contribute anything to this function. Now this thing as is already been taught in another course, the 207, that is optimization. You can also watch its video on YouTube. The simple language information, nothing else. So now we have to find the V. So we will derivate it with respect to V and we will get this equation. And from here we will get this. And so we can see that 
the covariance matrix sigma into v would be minus lambda v. So we can see that the v vector that we want would be the eigenvector of sigma. So that's all I have to present today. Thank you for being with me. Thank you.